thank you all for joining us today to celebrate the House passage of the Land Grant Merced Traditional Use Recognition and Consultation Act, which marks the first time a congressional chamber has passed a standalone traditional use piece of legislation for acequias or for land grants in more than 20 years. We're so honored to be joined today by Congresswoman and Chairwoman Deb Holland of New Mexico, our very own State Senator Liz Stefanics, New Mexico Land Grant Council Chairman Juan Sanchez, Acequia Association Executive Director Paula Garcia, and the New Mexico Land Grant Merced Consejo President Andrea Padilla, and Dr. David Garcia, all of whom are dedicated advocates for our traditional communities. I'm incredibly thankful for their support for this historic effort and all the work that went into this important legislation. I also want to recognize and thank New Mexico Asequia Commission Chairman Ralph V. Hill, Vice Chair Mary Mascarenas, and the members of the commission, as well as Arturo Archuleta and the staff of the New Mexico Land Grant Council for their continued support to all of the members and parciantes of Ezequias, to all of the heirs and members of land grant councils that are on. I wanna thank you for joining us today. As you know, addressing the challenges faced by land grants and Ezequias communities has been a priority of ours from the very beginning. And it's been a priority of mine since I was elected to the US House of Representatives. And we've been working for nearly a decade to advance this critical legislation for traditional use communities. I know this bill could not have passed without your support and fellow New Mexicans through the House of Representatives. You've taken the time to meet with me and my staff, shared your stories and challenges, given feedback, and some of you even submitted testimony to the House Natural Resources Committee. You are instrumental in the process and this win belongs to you. The Land Grant Merced's Traditional Use Recognition and Consultation Act will create the first ever federal statutory definition of historical traditional uses, providing the recognition that Land Grant Merced's and Asequias deserve that have long been denied for too long. It will make it easier for Land Grant Merced's and Asequias to work with federal land management agencies and weigh in on important federal land management decisions that affect them directly. The legislation recognizes the importance of protecting our culturally important sites, and it establishes a negotiated rulemaking process that recognizes prior court rulings which determine that consultation and special use permits are not required for routine maintenance and improvements, including a sequia cleaning and infrastructure replacement. This bill will be a game changer for New Mexico's land grant and acequias, and I'm gonna keep working with you until we pass this through both the House and the Senate and get this signed into law. So I just wanna say thank you again to each and every one of you. And uh, I'm now going to turn this over to our good friend, Congresswoman Deb Holland of New Mexico, the chair of the House Subcommittee on National Parks, Forests, and public lands. Congresswoman Holland, if you don't mute, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Senator-elect Ben Ray Lujan. And hello, everybody. I'm honored and excited to be with you all to celebrate the land grant Mercedes Traditional Use Recognition and Consultation Act in passing the House. And I'd like to begin by congratulating my good friend, my colleague, my mentor, uh, representative or Senator-elect Ben Ray Lujan and thank him for having me as an original co-sponsor. I also want to acknowledge and thank every single Persiante, Meromo, family and organizer for their hard work and dedication to moving this bill forward and caring for our land and our water. During the hearing, <clears throat> I chaired to push this bill through in the House Natural Resources Committee, Representative Ben Ray Lujan gave his testimony from beside an acequia and helped our colleagues to understand how important this legislation is to our constituents. In New Mexico, land grants and acequias have long played a critical role in our way of life, practicing traditional methods of stewardship over our land and water. 
We heard from Arturo Archuleta of the New Mexico Land Grant Council about the unique connection between traditional communities and the lands they manage and the challenges they face because some of the lands that formerly belonged to them are now federal lands. He noted that as climate change continues to impact watersheds and forested uplands, the protection of traditional uses must be included in the conversations that we all of us have about the management of public lands for land grant communities to survive. But for more than a century, these communities have fought for recognition and access to their historic communal lands, which are necessary to sustain their land-based heritage and agricultural economies. When I visited the Manzano Land Grant, Tahike Land Grant, and Chilili Land Grant in my district, it felt like I was sitting with my relatives, my aunties, my uncles, my cousins, because we share history and a deep spiritual connection to the land. And I am so, so, uh, so honored and so proud uh, to support this bill because I know how much the land means to all of you. This bill will provide enhanced access and consultation between federal land management agencies and land grants and acequias, which is essential for maintaining our way of life as New Mexicans. And I am very proud to support it. So we cleared this hurdle and I'm looking forward to working with our future Senator to keep up the momentum. Just know that you have an ally in Congress in me. And even though I am going to miss Ben Ray Lujan as my colleague here on the, in the house, I know that he will be a tremendous, tremendous voice for all New Mexicans on the Senate side. And, and um, uh, Ben Ray Lujan, I yield back to you. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. Such an honor to have you today. And uh, I appreciate Deb, uh, Congresswoman Holland, you reminded me that when we actually had the committee hearing that you led um, on this legislation, that I was able to provide testimony from right next to our acequia, one of the two acequias in Nambe, and uh, that particular acequia was the acequia comunidad. So what an honor, and the water was actually flowing that day. So I was able to show members of the U.S. House of Representatives what an acequia was and it looked like and why it was so instrumental and important to protect. So thank you for that reminder, Chairwoman Holland. Absolutely. Our next speaker has been instrumental in passing this legislation. She recently submitted testimony to the House Natural Resources Committee in support of the bill. That's our very own New Mexico Acequia Association Executive Director, Paula Garcia. Paula, if you'd unmute, the floor is yours. Thank you, thank you. It's a, it's a buenas tardes, les de Dios a todos. It's a, it's a great honor to be here. Thank you, uh, Congressman and Senator-elect Ben Ray Lujan and Congresswoman Deb Holland. We're, we're all very honored to be able to spend this time with you, to thank you, and um, especially to, uh, to recognize that you are strong defenders of our way of life here in New Mexico and defenders of our land and water. And I couldn't say... Um, how proud I was to see you, um, Congressman Ben Ray Lujan, when you were doing your testimony alongside the Asequia, um, my, my heart was swelling with, with pride and, and, um, and, and such a feeling of, of um, um, accomplishment that we have a leader from, from Northern New Mexico who grew up like we did um, playing in the Asequia uh, eating chili and growing corn and raising sheep and knowing what our way of life is all about. And it was it was such an honor to see both of you on C-SPAN, um, to see you, Congresswoman uh, Holland, leading the subcommittee um, and, and running the hearing. It was a, a, an amazing experience to be able to see that all unfold before our eyes. And this bill is the culmination of, of years of advocacy and I still remember when, when we started getting involved with the issue of, of Asequia relations with the Forest Service and uh, just how far we've come even, even with this bill still in, in, in progress, I feel that like your advocacy and your leadership in defending the Asequias has already uh, improved relations to a certain extent. And this, this bill helps to formalize and codify 
those relationships so that we have a seat at the table and that there's a, a relationship of mutual respect and acknowledgement of our history and of our place that, that we have a, a say in the future of our communities. And for the Asequias, having access to our historic works is uh, of profound importance. Um, it, it affirms our, our connection to the land, our relationship to the mountains, and the interconnectedness that we have with our watersheds and, and the valleys that feed us through our acequias and through our crops. And so it's a tremendous honor to be here today. I want to thank all the, all the herederos and the parciantes who are joining us today and, and thanking you for, for uh, always standing up for what you believe in and that this, this bill should give us hope that when we work together, when we um, stick together and to set out a goal and we, we uh, have good leaders in Congress that we can accomplish amazing things. And so um, it's, it's such an honor to be here. It's, and I, I wanna thank you for your hard work and for uh, keeping the land grants and Asequias close to your heart as you represent us in Washington, DC and educating all your colleagues about what New Mexico is all about and, and um, how, how much we care about our communities and how, uh, what caretakers, what it means to be caretakers of the land and water. So thank you so much again um, and thank all of you um, for being here. And I look forward to next steps. This is a, a wonderful way to celebrate and connect with everyone. And I look forward to continuing our advocacy and working together as we see this bill move forward. Thanks so much to everyone. Que vivan las acequias. Thank you so much, Paula, for your gracious words, your words of wisdom, but your tireless effort to make sure we're protecting and strengthening our acequias. Thank you so much. Um, I'd next like to introduce Andrea Padilla, uh, someone who I've learned so much from, someone I respect immensely, who's the president of the town of Tomé Land Grant and the president of New Mexico Land Grant Merced Consejo. Adelante, President Padilla. Go ahead and unmute and the floor is yours. Thank you, Senator Elect Lujan and Deb Helen for your attendance today. I wanna to thank you all for your hard work on getting this legislation passed. We appreciate your dedication and support of land grants in New Mexico. It is very important to us that we maintain the communication that we are creating at this time. And I hope for a long future of working together. The Land Grant Mercedes Traditional Use Recognition and Consultation Act will allow land grant heirs to maintain our heritage and traditions as a land-based people. It will assist us in creating a new generation of farmers, ranchers, and growers that will benefit our communities and the state of New Mexico as a whole. It allows us to get the point across to everyone that land grants are here to stay and that we are a vital and important part of New Mexico and of the nation. And we will, it'll allow us to get more involved in the economic, economic development for our heirs and our communities. I wanna take a moment to thank you, Ben Ray and um, Deb Hallen for all your work. And I wanna thank all the members of the interim land grant committee for all their work and their, their willingness to work with us and listen to us and help us move this legislation forward. And a special thank you to all of the heirs and parciantes of the Ezequias who have worked tirelessly for years to bring this issue to the forefront and to get this legislation into the hands of our congressional team. Thank you all. It's a great day for all of us. We need to really celebrate this for the next, um, the remainder of this year and hit it hard next year to get it through and become law. Thank you very much. Well said, President Padilla. Thank you so much for your work ethic, for your, your candor, and again, for your commitment for making a positive difference in our communities. President Padilla, I look forward to continuing to learn from you and work closely with you as well. Um, now it's my honor to also be joined by our state senator, Liz Stefanix, who also proudly serves as the chair of the Land Grant Interim Committee in the New Mexico Legislature. Uh, 
Liz, why don't you go ahead and unmute Senator, Madam Chair, and the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Senator-elect Congressman Ben Ray Lujan and Congresswoman Deb Holland. I think this is a great accomplishment going forward, and it's a gift to you as well, Ben Ray, as you move from one house to the other in Washington, D.C. The reason I think this is such an important bill is the consultation that will be required between the federal government and who owns much of the land surrounding the land grants that took away from the land grants over time and history. A consultation where we can go back to traditional uses on the land, traditional uses of the water. And oftentimes that's been ignored. In one of my counties that has quite a few land grants, there is a group of people who wanna take the water, the water that belongs to the land grants that would change their farming and their ranching and the ability for the future. So this bill would very much take into account what land grants want, not just for economic development, but for their heritage, for the ongoing traditional uses and require a discussion with the federal government sitting at the table and not just having the federal government make decisions for the land grants. Here at the state of New Mexico, it's always a challenge to get our state government to recognize the land grants, their rights, what has gone on before us to help them bring back their culture, their traditions and the uses of the land. And I truly believe that this federal bill is going to help immensely pave the way for how the state will and should treat all of the land grants and the uses of the land. In New Mexico, we have been trying little by little to help some of the land grants get back their land from private landowners. And this is a very hard issue because oftentimes it requires money. Sometimes the uh, state has some monies that they can afford for the assessments and for the architects and the engineers to draw and the surveyors to draw the lines but sometimes they can't. And down in Tomei, for example, we have had success with one bill to let the land grant buy back its land. So it's a struggle, whether it's north or south, it's a struggle for the land grants. And this bill, this consultation with the federal government is really, truly going to equalize the relationships. And I hope that it continues on to its final end and is totally successful. Thank you, Congressman, Senator-elect Ben Ray Lujan and Congresswoman Deb Holland. And thank you to all the land grant partimentes and also everyone who's involved with the governance. You all have come forward, come to the land grant interim, interim committees and let us know what is important to you. Thank you so much for including me today. Thank you so Thank you much, so Madam Chair, um, Senator Liz Stefanix, for your commitment, for um, working so diligently every day and traveling the state, but working so closely with our land grant communities and families and heirs. It's an honor to be able to work with you, and I look forward to continuing to fight to protect our acequias and our land grants as well. Thank you for your work every day. Um, and next, we're going to hear from Juan Sanchez who is the chair of the New Mexico Land Grant Council and the president of the Chile League Land Grant. Juan, the floor is yours. Congressman, uh, thank you very much. Can everyone hear me? Yes, sir, loud and clear. Thank you, because we're having some difficulties with my computer here logging on, so I'm sorry about that. But. Um, Thank you, Congressman Ben Ray and Congresswoman Deb Holland for all your hard work, uh, the work of your staff uh, that's gone into this historical piece of legislation. Uh, you know, it's one great step for land grants forward. Um, 
you know, I want to thank uh, the council and its staff. Without them, you know, the countless hours that they put in it, uh, it is just uh, tremendous. Uh, you know, we've been working on this piece of legislation for quite a while. Um, and, you know, most of all, you know, Congressman, uh, how much, uh, you know, we appreciate your hard work. Uh, and we're really grateful for uh, finally getting it passed through the House. I know your, your tireless hours, uh, you know, we can't really say m how much we appreciate it, but we really do. And, you know, all the work that the other land grant heirs have put into this piece of legislation, uh, we gratefully appreciate and we thank you very much. And all the almighty time. Thank you so much, Juan. And uh, Matthew, I don't know what you did, but you got the video working. So there's a few of us that are on. Um, Paula and David, if you're able to turn your video on, um, we would love to have you as well. So David, it's an honor. Mira, David's there next to the Asequia. I love it. Congresswoman Holland, wonderful. We're getting to see everybody here. Oh, I'm so grateful that at, at, at the very least here, as we uh, get closer to the end of the program, that we were able to get the video working. So, and it was just in time, by the way, because I'm excited to introduce our final guest today, Dr. David Garcia. In addition to being a proud scholar and a proud asequero, Dr. Garcia is a talented musician and he's kindly agreed to play us a song about our traditional uses. Dr. Garcia, David, the floor is yours, sir. Uh, buenas tardes le dios a todos ustedes uh, uh, senator elect Lujan uh, Con congresswoman uh, uh, Holland it's a great honor to be here today with you uh, uh, I'm here uh, um, I thought it would be uh, you know fitting to actually be in the acequia um, hopefully uh, I have a couple of uh, you know right now the acequia is dormant and uh, I don't know if I want to wake it up because I think there's some skunks <laughs> somewhere around here so uh if you see me run uh that that would be the reason uh but uh no es siempre es un gusto estar aquí con ustedes eh, pues eh, afirmando pues eh, eh, los derechos de, de las mercedes los eh, 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 los derechos de, de las acequias y pues yo tengo pues traigo una una canción eh, i have a song uh here today with me i'm 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 uh, talking here from the community of El Huache, San Antonio de El Huache in, uh, in Rio Riba County. Um, this, uh, this land that is, uh, was, is uh, uh, on, uh, on, on San, um, San Juan Pueblo uh, land grant uh, land. This is a land that uh, my family has farmed for, for multi-generations. Matter of fact, last year I had a great um, opportunity growing uh, stuff in the garden. And you know, uh, we unear I unearthed one of the uh, cavador from someone, someone in my family who used this cavador to, to uh, you know, it's just the the nub, you know, they, they worked tools to the till to, to there was nothing left to to work, and um, you know, it's a it's a testament to their hard work, uh, and that's what this song is about. It's about um, um, you know those people that wake up, you know, before sun. The sun uh, has come up in the morning, and they're uh, they're work, uh, doing the the work that they do because it's part of their querencia. It's the work that matters most to them. Sometimes they go to work, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, after they do that work in the farm, uh, taking care of their animals, taking care of their uh, uh, feeding, um, you know, all those uh, farm animals, they're taking care of uh, the their gardens, and then they head off to work. And then by the time they come back home, uh, before they have dinner, they go back outside until the sun is setting. And that's what's happening right now. So this is an early morning song, but also it's an evening song because I think it's it, it's a song that honors all those people that work so hard uh, uh, um, uh, with these lands that are have been, um, you know, our, 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 our sustenance. They mean so much to us spiritually. Um, and so I'm going to sing, this is a, uh, this is a, a hymn to the acequias, and we sing this a lot uh, uh, at many different meetings, and I hope it, uh, uh, I want to just honor uh, uh, all our representatives um, who, who work for us.
David, if you can hear us, your camera froze a little bit there. Let's see if we can get David going. There we go. <laughs> I have to stand back because it's pretty loud. Ya viene amaneciendo. Lo que yo quiero tanto, ya vamos a la sequía, a la sequía van todos, agarra ya la pala para limpiar el bordo. Agarra la Para limpiar el bordo, limpiaremos la sequía. Para traer el agua en la primavera, el agua es... en la primavera. El agua es vida. Ahí veo ya mis suegros bajando de saloma. Brincan esta sequía y echan a maroma. Brinca esta sequía y echan a maroma. La tarde está llegando, yo sigo trabajando para mantener lo que yo quiero tanto, para mantener lo que yo quiero tanto, para mantener. Lo que yo quiero tanto. Uh, thank you so much, David. Dr. Garcia, muchísimas gracias por esa canción. You know, I, I have a lot of memories of making a maroma or two, trying to jump across the acequia. And it seems that the older I get, the, the wider that ditch becomes because I can't jump across it the way that I used to. Um, and so now I use uh, the pala like a pole vault. And so I <laughs> down to get across, you know, I'm going to land up in it again. Um, I can't say thank you enough for inspiring us. And um, as you said, significant gatherings around traditional communities, when we have conversations about the significance of our land grants and the families and the generations, the importance of acequias and those life flowing waters. Uh, Dr. Garcia, that song is often played. And I just wanna thank you so much for inspiring us as well. Uh, Chairwoman Holland, I, I can't thank you enough for leading the important hearings and being part of the legislative strategy that brought us to passage of this legislation this last week. The work that is done by Chairwoman Stefanics on a daily basis with the conversations that take place in New Mexico in conjunction with land grants, with acequias, and with the New Mexico State Legislature and our governor. I wanna thank you, Senator, because it's gonna take all of us continuing to work together to get these important initiatives adopted and protect these families and these communities. President Padilla, for the work that you do day in and day out for that constant counsel and that reminder that we have to roll up our sleeves and get to work. For the times, Juan, when we've sat down, President Sanchez, and you've given me that direction and that inspiration to get things done. And Paula, for the work that we've done, the work that every one of you did with my father, and you remind me of that, Paula, every time we get a chance to talk and we get together. To all the parciantes, all of the heirs, all of the Myrodomos who are on the call today, I want to thank you. I want to thank you because these are tough times and 
in a year that COVID has hit every one of our families all across New Mexico. You were there defending our traditional communities, ensuring that access to common lands were there so we could gather firewood and piñon and herbs and rock and pray that those acequias were flowing to provide nourishment into our communities. And we know our best days are in front of us, but only if we stand together as a community. And I just wanna say thank you to every one of you that made today special. I look forward to being part of the Congreso on Saturday, uh, to that gathering and to that convening of leaders all across New Mexico. And I look forward to sitting down with the various land grant councils across New Mexico, the land grants that are part of the Consejo and the land grants that I've been honored to learn from and work with that work in, in different ways. Everyone has something to contribute. And I wanna say thank you to those families, to Mr. Quintana, to everyone else that is out there. And a special thank you to my grandpa, Luis Lujan, who served in World War II, and my grandma, Cleotilde, for having that foresight. My mom is an heir to the land grant in Hakona that my grandpa, Luis, was an heir to and an owner of and a member of the acequias in Nambe that I've been proud to protect and carve every year, the Comunidad and La Nueva. And then an important acequia that my dad principally had the responsibility for, but after his passing, he left it to my brother Jerome and to myself up in Truchas, New Mexico, the acequia llena, sorry, the acequia llano abeta. And I just wanna thank all the families that are on that are part of those acequias to my Myro Domo Narciso, thank you for putting up with my calls. Every time there's water flowing, I call the Myro Domo Narciso, where's the water going? Donde va? Um, when can I get in line? And poor Narciso, I, I let him know. It doesn't matter if it's one in the morning, two in the morning, three in the morning. Uh, we're willing and we're ready to go to our other Myro Domo, to Mr. Roy Ball. It's always an honor, sir. And we just want to thank you for looking after the elders in our communities. Myro Domos are our mayors there. They're governors, they're, they're instrumental in our communities. They let us know when people need help. And that's what these communities are all about. So thank you for teaching me the importance of what needs to get done for generations. And for the younger people that are on the call, please learn from those that have been doing this work. Let's make sure we keep this going for generations to come, that we strengthen our acequias and we strengthen access to our land grants and ownership. So everyone, May God bless you. May God keep you safe. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you for the inspiration and for the work. Thank you for being part of this celebration. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe. Keep your family safe and strong. And we'll see you in New Mexico soon. Muchísimas gracias, everyone. Thank you so much.